this is my Oro Blanco grapefruit tree. And he's got tons of flowers on him. And he's growing crooked. <laughs> so I'm going to put all of these plants in bigger pots. Well, I guess they're not plants, they're trees, but they all deserve a bigger pot. This is my lime tree, and he is the best lime tree ever. He grows limes for me all year round. So that's exciting. This is a Texas Rio grapefruit, and there's been a spider who has been living on my tree but I leave him because he eats the little bugs. He's not a bad spider, but he's gonna blossom soon. And this guy really needs to be put in a bigger pot. And here is some raspberries, a raspberry plant. He really needs to go in a bigger pot too. But here are some raspberries growing right there. And this is a jalapeno plant that I saved from the winter. And he's staying in that pot. <laughs> but he's tall. I didn't know that jalapeno plants could get that big. But he did, man. He's uh, reaching for the stars. This is my orange tree. I think it's a navel orange tree. And it smells incredible back here because of the mixture of all the citrus plants blossoming. And this is a lemon tree. And this is the biggest reason why it smells so incredible out here. My neighbors have a tangelo tree. And most of the blossoms have fallen off of it already. And they're all on the ground. Okay, so here are two hot pepper plants. The one on, or this one right here, this one is the world's hottest habanero. And we'll see. Chris will be the judge of that. He loves hot peppers. And then that's a ghost pepper plant. These are my beets. I've got beets growing here and beets growing on another part of the garden. Um, they're really happy here. They like to grow right here. This is where I normally grow my cucumbers because I have the trellis all up there. Those are my beets. All right, and here is the celery. I have all the paper bags tied around the bottom so they can blanch and it's been two or three days since I did it. So hopefully it's doing its magic and my celery will not be bitter tasting. Here is my Thompson green seedless grape and it is going gangbusters already. Blooming really well. And this guy is really long. He goes all the way down there. And then he goes all the way down there and back up and down again. And he already has some clusters growing on him. Right there. And more of them growing. It's pretty exciting. Here is my red grapevine. And he goes up over the garage. All the way down there. And then all the way over here. There's a big bunch right there, and all the way down. And he's got grape clusters growing too. I don't know if you can see, a lot of them are, let's see, going up there. But 
but I pruned my grapevines really well this year and I'm hoping that I get some actual grapes to eat this year. Last year I got some grape clusters and they were growing but I don't think the grapevine was mature enough yet. So now, we'll see. This is a blueberry bush and it's got tons of little blueberries growing on it already. I've had this plant for two years. This is the second year and he grew some really big blueberries last year and I'm hoping that he will grow some more really big ones this year. So far it looks good. Check out the squirrel. He's a crazy squirrel. He's not scared of anything. That's the first time I've encountered a squirrel where I'm like, oh no, he's gonna eat my whole garden. But luckily my dog's in the backyard right now and he's probably freaking out because of that. And here's the guard dog that the squirrel is scared of. He's doing his job. Although he looks like he's sleeping on the job to me. Here's my peach tree. The blossoms have already done their business. And now it's time to create the fruit. Well, this one looks kind of good still. But this is a little dwarf peach tree. And I think I'm gonna get another one because these peaches are sweet, but I think the quality would be so much better if I got another variety to cross pollinate with. So maybe I'll do that next year. Here are my strawberries. I keep them in these pots because the strawberries grow a lot better for me if I just water the center of each of these pots. And then I get some pretty big strawberries. So it's about that time for them to start growing really big. Oh, it looks like there's one over here. I'll show you guys, there's a bunch on this one. But there's a big one growing right there. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yay, strawberries! And this big mess right here, those are my carrots. And those are so delicious. There's a bunch of them in there right now. So they're about the size of my pinky, and some of them are bigger, but I kind of have to weed them out, pick out the biggest ones when I want to snack on them. And maybe in another month, they'll be a lot bigger and then I can actually start using them to cook with and whatnot. These two plants right here in the pots are eggplants and I started growing them last year and it was really warm last summer and I thought I was going to get eggplant but I didn't so I dug these out and I saved them and I kept them all through the winter and I'm going to put them back in the ground and hopefully this year I'll get some eggplant. This is a first time thing for me. This are these are potatoes and I'm growing them in a pot and <laughs> so far so good these things are growing super fast so I need to actually plant some more have some more seed potatoes that I want to plant so this was a experiment and I think that it's gonna work I'd be really surprised if it didn't so I think I bought some really good seed potatoes that's that little cluster of veggies and fruits. Here are all of my onions that I have. I've got all of these and I've got all of those right there. Those are, the ones in the back are purple onions and that little two rows in the front are like Maui onions or sweet onions, Walla Walla. I don't remember which ones I bought but they're sweet, the big sweet onions. And then these are all regular yellow Spanish sweet onions. And in the back there's some more of the extra sweet onions. I love planting onions. It's probably my favorite thing to grow. 
they're just so much fun to watch. It's a lot of work when you first plant them because you have to... I plant my onions from the starter sets, not from the little bulbs that have already started growing. I just take the live onions and trim off the bottom of the roots and then plant each onion plant. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun to watch them grow. This is a pear tree. And he grew one little pear for me last year. And this year, I'm hoping, because he's doubled in size, that he will grow some more. I would be excited to eat them. This is my Fuji apple tree. And he hasn't really produce any leaves or blossoms yet but he's a winter growing apple tree so it may take him until the summer to start producing well I guess look there's actually a little leaf right there so maybe he's starting to do his thing already this right here is a cherry tree and I'll walk up closer this has got some beautiful flowers growing on him and I'm hoping to get some cherries from this guy this year too. I didn't get anything last year. And this is actually one of those cocktail cherry trees where it grows the different varieties, but the Bing took over, so it's basically a Bing cherry tree now. And I have some artichokes growing in those pots right there. I need to transfer them into bigger pots now too. I had an artichoke plant for about four years and it did really good but I was like yeah I'll pull it out and create some more space and then I planted these guys thinking I put them in the front yard but now we've got skunks like crazy and possums so I probably won't get to do that so now I'm like crap I have three artichoke plants instead of one those right there are my cabbages these guys are huge I can't believe how big these cabbage plants got. Let's go over there and check them out. Here's a better look at them. Look at how big these guys are. They're huge. I mean, that's got to be 30 inches across, at least. I had no idea that they got that big. It's really cool because the cabbage head is starting to form in the middle right there. And then, here's the other part where my beets are. I need to pull it out because this beet is ready to go. This is the only surviving green cabbage this year. The other ones got ruined by the rain or whatever. <laughs> but I'm excited. I wonder if he's gonna get as big as these guys. Because these guys are huge, they're massive. But once these guys are done, I'm going to plant my watermelon over here. Hooray! I love watermelon. This is my sad banana plant. He had a rough, rough winter. He lost all of his little pups and he even lost one of his big, um, big plants. So, I don't know how he's doing. Um, I trimmed him up a little bit. And I hope he's going to survive. Even if just one of the trees survive or plants, I'll be happy. But I, I fertilized him really good with some of the organic fertilizer that I have. And I'm checking to make sure that he's moist all the time. But I don't know. Only time will tell. Here is my avocado tree. And this guy has doubled in the last year as well. And I am so excited because there are so many blossoms on it this year. I've got to get some fruit on him. I've had this avocado tree for four or five years now and never had fruit on him. I had one little teeny tiny start last year and then he fell off and I cried. But this looks promising for sure. These are cauliflower and they're taking forever to do anything. So I hope they hurry up because I want to plant all my summer vegetables soon and they're just taking up space. If they don't do anything by the end of April, I'm just going to rip them out. I know, I know, but I need to plant other things like tomatoes 
And these little guys right here, they kind of look really sad because I waited so long to plant them. But I think they just have a little bit of shock because they're like, whoa, dirt. <laughs> so I hope they grow. And let's see what else I have. I've got some lettuce growing in those pots over there. And my starter seeds looking kind of sad in there. Most of them died. But the watermelon is looking really good. Look at, there was a bean seed in that watermelon starter plant. And then here's all my tomatoes in here. I'm so excited. I'm doing all heirloom tomatoes this year. And these guys right here are cantaloupes. And then right in here, Brussels sprouts. Woohoo! And those <laughs> in that little pot right there. Yeah, those were bell peppers. They didn't make it. 